my god it's tracking really good looks interesting and looks magical as well mm. namaskar hope you all are doing well so in today's video we are going to talk about media pipe library media pipe was introduced by google and with introduction of media pipe a lot of ml problems like body pose detection face detection and hand tracking has become a lot easier in this video we will talk about a basic implementation of media pipe and how we can track our hand movement with the use of media pipe we will use python for this tutorial and i am assuming before proceeding forward that you already have some in depth knowledge of python if you don't have an in depth knowledge of python it's all right it's you just need to know the basics of open cv and how image processing works i also have a detailed video on how image processing works using open cv link about the same can be found in description now let's move forward and try to understand how many steps are really required to do a basic hand tracking using python so the overall solution has been divided into three parts first we are going to capture the live video from our webcam or any suitable camera then using the media pipe we will detect the hand and in last part we will try to draw the landmarks of the hand using utility function from media pipe itself overall it looks like a three step but internally there are a lot more steps involved so now let's look at the coding part how we are going to achieve it start so the first step is to import all the necessary libraries which we are going to use for the project we will need matplotlib media pipe and open cv for this now if you have not installed media pipe you can install it from here you can use the command pip install media pipe and don't forget to of course uh, restart the kernel once you install any new framework again if you have not installed opencv as well you can install it like the same pip command now in second step we will import the solutions which we are going to use from media pipe we are going to use hand tracking so we are going to use mp solutions dot hand and this is a very important factor here mp solutions dot drawing utils here what we are trying to do earlier solutions of media pipe we used to have our own utility function to draw the landmarks of the hand here media pipe itself provides the utility function to draw the landmark so we will be using the same function from media pipe itself it saves a lot of time our next step is to get a live video so that we can track hand movement from that video frame itself so in this solution we will try to access the webcam and from webcam i will sway my hand movements and we will try to track the hand movements as well now here i will be using open cv for hand video capture and using that video capture i will turn that video into frame and on top of that frame i will be applying media pipe libraries for tracking now let's try to access webcam and show the video using open cv video capture method i'm trying to capture the webcam video and it's stored in the video variable and to set the height and width of the image i'm trying to capture i am setting it as 515 and 515 you can set it up as any number you want but be make sure that it should be very low in dimension because the more the dimension will be the more processing the algorithm has to do and this is just a while loop where i'm trying to uh, inside this loop i'm trying to access the video frame and trying to display using image so now let's run it and see whether i'm trying to access the webcam or not the moment we run the code it will try to access the webcam and will display the image in this separate window here it's the name is frame it's the same name which we will supply here it will come here at this this is the magic of open cv it, it, you can access the webcam and show the image by using hardly i mean five or six lines of code so the moment we convert it we will again check that okay whether our results have something inside it or not using normal if statement if it has some content inside it that means if there is some sort of hand movement inside a particular frame we will go inside this block and inside this block it's a normal for each statement where we are trying to store hand landmark position for each and every frame and using the utility function from mp dot draw we are trying to draw on each frame this is the landmark and this is what you have to draw hand connections while writing this code make sure that inside connections you pass mp dot hand dot hand underscore connection this is a really important and crucial part here this is how we decide what type of connection we are trying to draw inside a particular frame 
and using image.so again it's the regular process we are trying to show whatever we have tracked and whatever we have do manipulation on top of it and at the end we are trying to release all the captured video now let's try to run this code and see whether we have achieved something or not let's run it okay we are in waiting mode oh there is this okay so let's see whether it is tracking oh my god it's tracking really good looks interesting and looks magical as well mm, it's interesting yeah so this is it for the current video in next video we are going to talk about how we can detect body pose using media pipe Till then, bye-bye.